So I'm not really sure what I want to say, but I want to make a video. And uh, so I thought I'd say, I'd start this off with saying that I just drove across the country from Washington, 25 miles south of Canada on I-5 from Bellingham, Washington, all the way to Shelbyville, Indiana, which is about 45 minutes southeast of Indianapolis. Uh, I started my day today in Wisconsin, Black River Falls, Wisconsin. I drove 475 miles all the way over here uh, the day before. I drove, oh, basically I drove I-90 to 94 across the top of the United States from uh, Washington, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, and Indiana. All those states. So it's been uh, four days since I left Washington and tomorrow morning I'll be delivering this load just around the corner here and then uh, I gotta go over to uh, somewhere in Ohio pick that load up and then it'll be that's tomorrow and then I'll be delivering that in Pennsylvania uh, I forget where in Pennsylvania I gotta look I shouldn't really say exactly all the locations because you know information security or whatever about our loads where we go, what we're hauling, and all that stuff, you know, I okay, gotta kinda keep that on the, the down low, yo. But, um, so I've been driving my truck, that's what I've been doing. And I've also been practicing using my camera, my new ADD, Canon EOS ADD camera, which is what I'm using right now. Check out this microphone on top. And this thing zooms in. I don't need to zoom in on me, but, but I've been learning how it works, all the functions, uh, using different aperture, shutter speeds, uh, different light, you know, ISO, doing it, uh, taking pictures at night during the day, uh, looking for different areas that have different types of, uh, you know, a lot of light in the background. It's really contrasty or, you know, flat, flat light, you know, at different angles, all, you know, different stuff for photography. And just like I was doing with like uh, learning different kind of like cinematic shots, like how that type of shot is expressive to show emotion or to communicate a certain message uh, accurately. And also, you know, I don't want, I'm trying to find ways where I can get those shots made without the camera being shaky and, and finding the time to find the time to do that after I've driven all day long, like, Driving across the country is not an easy thing, especially when you're operating a large commercial vehicle with many regulations uh, you know, determined by the Federal Motor Safety, Safety Administration, the FMCSA, which is how you should be operating a commercial vehicle driving a truck. The FMCSA is like the trucker's enemy. That's not something that most truckers want to be compliant with. It's like that's what they're trying to get away from. Still do this, but not be compliant with with the rules and try to make more money. Because it's oh, they're they're just trying to stop us from making money. Because really, it's it's the safety administration, and it's all about operating safely on the road. And what I do is I practice operating safely as a professional, as a professional would in any industry. You go into a, a business and you expect somebody to have professionalism. Well, that's what I do while behind the wheel of a vehicle. I operate with a sense of professionalism. Many of these out, guys out here are operating as a trucker. And we can pretty safe to assume and you know be a little prejudiced here against it. But the, the stereotypical truck driver what most the truck drivers look like, their physical appearance, their attitudes, you know, that's that's not what you would find in a, I don't know, a five-star hotel. You're not gonna find that kind of person out driving a semi-truck. That's That doesn't exist out here. You don't have five-star service, you know, as uh, truck drivers out here being considerate to everybody else when they're driving a truck, that the demands of this job really push the drivers to go somewhere and I I can't really blame the, the people who are driving the trucks more so that the law enforcement for not enforcing the rules as they should be you know they're not doing the, the law enforcement and FMCSA officials aren't fully doing their job and a lot of the stuff is slipping through and they know it 
but to enforce all that kind of stuff and, and push those regulations uh, I think would just drive a lot of people out of this industry and I think they know that too so to keep things going they you know they, some like trucking companies they have to hire guys that aren't don't have such a good driving record because they still need to stay in business like we still have to deliver stuff around the country people need to eat so we still need people to do this job and if they pushed all those regulations these guys they wouldn't have jobs like people wouldn't be driving their cars if we fully stepped up to full maximum force <clears throat> people wouldn't be out here doing this and I don't want to be a part of it I don't want to be out here it's like that's what I wanted to say earlier that's what I'm gonna to get to right now I'm gonna stop what I'm talking about driving because now I remember what I wanted to talk about I never wanted to be a truck driver I don't like trucking I don't want to drive a truck I do a good job at what I do because that's the kind of ethics that I have this is my job this is what I do and I'm gonna put the best effort into it whether I like it or not I'm gonna do it right and every single time I'm not gonna pretend and say that I'm doing something and then and actually not do it I'm out here being a professional behind the wheel and I used to enjoy driving but now that I've learned so much about the road and and what's going on out there there's no reason for me to enjoy it and I don't couldn't imagine anybody else saying that they like driving because unless if you like rules and regulations and and being restricted from doing stuff then then driving is for you because that's what driving is it's following and obeying and being in compliance with the laws and regulations regarding the operation and management of a motor vehicle on public roadways a racetrack it's you're racing yeah you have you're in a driver's position but you're racing so you're a racer on a racetrack when you're out here on public roads you're a driver if you're on a motorcycle you're a, a rider but it's still the driving principles of um, being on a motorcycle still apply but I mean I I don't want to do this I don't want to be so in so tuned in this and being in an industry where people are, are are trying to not do that deliberately trying to not follow the rules and get away with it so um, that's what I want to say I don't want to be out here so I'm learning all kinds of different things that I can do so that I can leave here and I have some knowledge and experience and some you know, kind of transitional conditioning like mental conditioning so that I can make the transition from semi truck back into a another part of society and integrate back in as like I left the military went to college tried to find work couldn't really get anything done uh, couldn't find work I ended up in a semi truck to survive and I never planned on staying it's just never been able to get out this industry it works so well to keep the driver driving to keep the trucks moving on the road and it's really difficult to get a, an opportunity to really go do anything else like you're provided home time but home time is like you're allowed to park the truck and get out and go away from it for a little bit and then come back as an over-the-road truck driver you're expected to be out for weeks or months at a time and only take a few days off whereas other people with normal jobs that are Monday through Friday have every weekend off an opportunity to get stuff done and they go home so they still have time between when their shift ends to when their shift starts the following day they get some other stuff done when you're out here on the road you don't have access to your house you're out in a truck you need to have somebody else try to take care of stuff I don't and I have anybody at a house I don't have a house I don't have any of that stuff to take care of and I'm trying to get that stuff established but to do that while living in a semi truck on the road they just don't have access to anything and to take that much time off really doesn't work in this industry in this job position so I'd have to find another job position or different type of trucking to get into to make that transition back into uh, a different type of work so I'm really learning about photography video skills and and more so how to communicate uh, more effectively I shouldn't say it more effectively because it really doesn't mean anything to communicate with other people on uh, to see eye to eye with other people so you can see eye to eye with me so I can we can communicate a message clearly I should say that more to communicate more clearly with other people I am learning how to communicate using different mediums like video writing like I'm really good at writing I love to write 
I can write story after story. I could write a five paragraphs, five paragraph essay, uh, you know, in, in an hour, and it, and it all makes sense. To me, it makes sense. But who's my audience? Who am I talking to? Like, who am I talking to right now? I don't know. Maybe somebody's interest. Maybe something I said is of interest to somebody, but I don't really know. Like this guy's walked by, just staring at my truck, and got all my lights on. I don't know why. But what's life like out in a semi truck? You have to really, really take in consideration your perspective and your life, and how that's going to carry over into uh, an on the road lifestyle. Like, what's it like to live on the road and not ever go home? To always be gone all the time? If you've never experienced that, then well, it's something that you'll have to experience and find out for yourself because it's different, I think, for everybody. And it's not something I want to do. It might be for you, but I doubt it. I highly doubt that this is something that you want to do. Nobody wants to be an over-the-road truck driver. Everybody wants that local job so they can go home every day. Being out here for a few weeks and just gritting their teeth, bearing it out until they can go home. I'm out here for good. I've been out here for eight months so far. And I know I'm not, I don't have anywhere to go, so I have to bear it out. I have to find a way to make it here. Just fit in here to to survive, to keep going without having any hope in the future that I'm going to be going home, that this is going to stop and I'll have to break. No, this is an every day, seven days a week thing for eight months straight without a day off. Most people, I don't think they could handle that in any job, whether it's driving a truck. But this like this job is driving a truck is as stressful as that, is, as that is, doing it without a day off or as long as, I, as, as I've been doing it, like... How could you expect anybody to be sane after that? I've done it for so long and I've learned all kinds of ways to cope and to manage that, to have a, the right mindset to bear, to bear that kind of pressure and not completely go bonkers. And to say that I haven't, I have pretty much, I think, lost my mind, which just seemed absolutely nuts and crazy. Like I do a lot of talking to myself. I rationalize my own ideas with myself. I, I argue with myself. I, I doubt what I say, and then I go and I find credible information. Like, I talk it over. I look at both sides of everything. And that's usually my ideas. Like, I look at both sides to see, am I saying something right? Am I, is what I'm saying making any sense? Well, let's see. Does anybody make any sense of that? And I'll, I'll throw some comments out on YouTube somewhere on a crazy perspective and see what kind of replies I get. And people, and most, I expect most people to disagree with that. So be pretty certain that I, I uh, my idea was clear that people don't don't agree with that that perspective whether it's right or wrong it's just I don't know I don't know what to talk about I was talking to a camera by myself got these headphones in because I can hear the audio and I know the audio level and it's easier for me to hear what I'm saying uh, if I take it out I sound different you know I don't have the same completely different sound like I can hear so much more clearly and I kind of expect that this is what I should be hearing in the video. This is not what I'm going to be hearing in the video. But you're going to hear this. Audio quality. Anyway, i got to end this video. It's long. It's going to take a while to download. Um, sorry I haven't uploaded more about trekking. I just haven't been recording anything. I've just been focusing on driving and doing my job and not making videos. But I'm hopefully I'm going to get get motivated and start making some more stuff but anyway here let me add some pictures of the stuff that I've been taking and show you what I've been doing in the meantime thank you for watching and go ahead and go and do whatever you want to go do now see you later